This video is going to help you with doing virtual day number four. And for this, this week, we're multiplying mixed numbers. The steps I need to go about when I'm multiplying mixed numbers is kind of what we did last week with adding and subtracting, but there's a big step left out because I don't have to get my denominators the same. So step one is I need to make them improper fractions. So to make 7 an improper fraction, all I have to do is put a 1 under it, so it's 7 over 1. 3 and a half to make it an improper fraction, I'm going to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6, and then 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is 7, and my denominator stays the same, 7 halves. So 3 and a half is the same as 7 halves. So now I really have 7 over 1 times 7 over 2. Step two, multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. Okay, seven times seven is 49. One times two is two. That was pretty easy. Divide to change it back to a mixed or whole number. So it could come out either way. So when I come out here to divide, I'm gonna go like this, 49 divided by two. There are two twos and 49. Two times two is four. Subtract, bring down my nine. I mean, two is a nine, there are four of them. 4 times 2 is 8. When I subtract, there's 1 left over. 24 remainder 1. Remember, this 2 is coming right over here. So my answer really is 24 and 1 half. So 7 times 3 and a half equals 24 and a half. Just check the whole number part here. If I did 7 times 3, it's 21, which is pretty close to 24 and a half, so it makes my answer seem reasonable. Let's try another one that way. Step one, improper fractions. So this is four over one. Two times four is eight. Eight plus one is nine. So we got four over one times nine over four. Remember this denominator is still gonna be the denominator. Top times top, 36. Bottom times bottom, four. Let's go divide. 36 divided by four. No fours in three. How many fours in 36? Nine. Oh, well, this one comes out exactly even. So my answer is just nine. There's not a fraction part with it. Remember, go back and check the whole number part. Four times two is eight. That makes sense. It's really close to nine. All we did here is just change the order of the mixed number and the whole number. So I'm still doing the same thing, making improper fractions. Five times three is 15 plus 1 is 16, so I got 16 thirds. 4, I'm just putting the 1 underneath to make it an improper fraction. And let's see, we got 16 times 4, it's 24, 4, 6, 64 over 3. And then when I go to divide, 64 divided by 3, there are 2 3's and 6. Subtract, there's nothing left there. Bring down my 4. 1, 3, and 4. So 21 remainder 1. And remember, he's coming over, so this time it is not 21 and a half. It's 21 and 1 third. And if I double check what I've got up here for my whole numbers, I got 5 times 4, which is 20. Pretty close to 21 and a third. Reasonable answer. 3 and 3 fourths times 6. Remember, first thing's going to be get them improper fractions. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. I've got 15 fourths. Put the 1 under the 6. So 15 fourths times 6 over 1. 15 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry my 3. 6, 9. 90 on top for my numerator. 4 times 1 is 4 on the bottom for my denominator. We got 90 divided by 4. 4 goes into 9 two times. Bring down my 0. How many 4s in 10? Again, it's 2 times. 22 remainder 2, and I'm bringing this 4 over. So it's 22 and 2 fourths. That can be simplified. This is the first one that's been that way. The big 22 is going to stay the big 22, but I can divide the 2 and the 4 both by 2 to get to 22 and a half. And if I check my mixed number, I got 6 times 3 is 22. 
You might notice three and three fourths is closer to four than it is to three, so six times four would be 24, and I'm a little less than 24. Okay, here's a half step up now. I have mixed number times mixed number. So this time when I'm changing them, they're both going to be, need to be changed. So two times two is four. Four plus one is five, so we got five halves for the first one. Two times three is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven halves for the second one. Top times top, five times seven is 35. Two times two on the bottom is four. Divide it out. There are eight fours. 35, and 8 times 4 is 32, remainder 3, bring him over, and my answer is 8 and 3 fourths. Let's try another one. 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19, so we got 19 fourths. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, 11 halves. Ooh, we're getting a little bit bigger numbers. 19 times 11. Marco Polo. And we end up with 209 over 4 times 2 is 8. 209 eighths. It looks big. It's not really that tough of a thing to do. So there's no eights in 2. How many eights in 20? Two of them. Two times eight, sixteen. I got a four. Bring down my nine. How many eights in forty-nine? Six spiders on a triple date. Six times eight is forty-eight. That leaves me one left over. And I'm bringing him over because my denominator doesn't change. So my answer would be twenty-six and one eighth. Last one. Eight and a half times two and three quarters. So 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17, we got 17 halves, times 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, 11 fourths. 17 times 11, this is a, kind of similar to the problem we did on the last one. 187 for my numerator from 17 times 11, and 2 times 4 is 8 on the denominator again. So here we go. 187 divided by 8. There are none in 1. How many 8's in 18? 2. 2 times 8 is 16. When I subtract, there's 2. Bring down my 7. How many 8's in 27? 3 of them. 3 times 8 is 24. And I have a remainder of 3. Remember, he's coming over here. So my answer would be 23 and 3 eighths. For the ones we did, there were hardly any that you had to simplify. So remember the steps when I'm going to multiply mixed numbers. Make them improper fractions. Then I'm doing top times top and bottom times bottom. And finally, I'm dividing to change it back to a mixed or a whole number. It could be either one.